So today, um, if you don't have someone who is actively engaged with your social media analytics, Facebook's got tremendous analytics. It goes from the very simple to, you know, miles and miles of spreadsheet data. Whatever you want, Facebook has it there for you. If you don't have someone who is confident on that, get connected to someone who can help you understand it. And then the next step would be once you get one person who understands nuances of social media analytics and what does reach mean? You know, what is uh, the talking about this or engaged users or those kind of things that we that that we measure? You know, how can I get that competency from one person out to leadership and out to other parts of our building? Because you, know, I, you think about the Nielsen ratings. We've had those for decades, right? So many people in the newsroom, uh, as well as the GM and the news director and the programming director and the research director and the salespeople, all have a certain level of expertise for Nielsen. So that's really good. That is something we, that's our currency. We need to know how we're doing uh, in those surveys. We need to develop the same kind of competency on digital analytics as well. So not just social media, but also your website. Do you understand, you know, how your site is growing? Are you connected, not just through someone sending you a report every week, but you should be able to get the, the numbers yourself. And if I'm a general manager, uh, I want to have dashboards of my digital performance and my social performance just as I can easily get to Nielsen numbers. That's, again, a measure of our business and how we're doing. And you're trying to hold uh, uh, your staff accountable and encourage them to do their best work. Well, if you don't know the numbers or if you don't know how to play the game, or what's valuable or what's the currency in these platforms, then you're not going to be an effective leader in that regard. 